welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeson from Beauty and the Beasts, and I upload every single Wednesday and Sunday. I had to think about that for a second. Today, we are doing the office makeover, which I'm so excited for. Three years ago now, four years ago now, we redid the office, just like put some um, cabinets in and all that kind of stuff, but we did nothing else. So it was just plain white, and it honestly became like a dumping ground for everything. And I want it to be like a nice space for my husband and I to be able to go in to do our work. And I was gonna say relax, but we all know we can't relax with four kids. But I just have a vision and my goal is to make it like relaxing enough for you to be productive in it. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but I'm the kind of person that, for example, in nursing school, if I needed to study for a test, I couldn't study unless my room was perfectly clean. So if the office is disorganized or just a hot mess like it is right now, I can't go in there and work. So we're gonna put some paint on the walls. We're gonna declutter a ton. There's so much stuff in there that I just need to get rid of things that I've been putting off. Um, I do a lot of cricketing and all that kind of stuff. So there's like craft supplies. But anyway, let's get into it. First things first, I'm gonna give you an overview so I can show you what it looks like at the end there. And then, one second, I need my mall. And then we're gonna start like the decluttering process, taking things off the wall, we're gonna paint. I actually chose a paint color, I'm blanking on the name right now. Actually, one of my followers on Instagram sent it to me when I asked for a recommendation, and I loved it. It's not pink, I know. I know you can't believe it. It's actually like a blue gray, and it's a dark color, but I think it's perfect for what we're going for. For the OGs here, it reminds me of the family room in the old house, and I just kind of love it. So let's get started. But first, coffee. Here is what you see when you walk in. Dumping grounds, like I mentioned, there's like random Easter stuff and things like that. I love the little cork boards with the kids' artwork. I'm just gonna clean those up and save what I wanna save. And basically, I don't know if I'm gonna completely empty them or not to put some of their new stuff up there. We'll see, but you can see it's just a dumping ground right now. Over here, we've had this for a very long time. I ordered a new bookshelf that my hopes and dreams are, let me come over here. So my hopes and dreams for the new bookshelf that's going here, it's the same one that we have in our bedroom at the Bay House. So it's, um, I'll have the laminator on there, the photo printer, the regular printer, and then I'll also be able to possibly fit the Cricut on there. Um, I just want everything on that bookshelf over here. It's my hopes. The crazy thing is, is that I've been wanting to do this for so long and I've just been slowly like saving things on Amazon and then one day I was like, I'm doing it and just ordered everything. So my front porch right now is full of Amazon purchases, but this is, I don't know. I just hope, I hope my vision comes together and that it all ties in together. I have a really good feeling about it. So here's where I have like all of my oils right now. This will stay, but I've got to take it off the wall um, to paint. And so I need to take all the oils off. That's going to probably be one of the most time consuming things. And I want to like keep them in the right order so they have them like by their colors. Uh, what else? Oh, and then this desk, we're going to bring this to the Bay House so that we can have a desk in our bedroom there. And all of a sudden it's in there. just a couple like rolls of vinyl and then this is like more essential oils over here. So we'll find other places for them and then just free up this whole space. Um, this little guy over here is just like, a plastic container that we put random stuff in. Um, I think that will probably go to the third closet. And then I got a mirror to go in here so that maybe that I can do like some try on hauls in here and stuff, but we'll see. First things first, I'm going to start decluttering. We're gonna start with the oils and just get that off so we can take these off the wall and get to painting. Um, so like I mentioned, I gotta take all of these oils down and I'm trying to keep them separated by color so that it's easier to reorganize. This is very time consuming and keep in mind that I have been using Young Living since 2017 so I have lots of oils. I have a giant oil recipe book that I like to make things from, all different like scents that I love for my diffuser and basically I just love my essential oils so it's okay that they're time consuming. If there's one thing I know, there is power in ordinary love, ordinary love. Don't you ever say you are not enough, baby, you are enough, so don't you be afraid and take a leap of faith. It doesn't have right. to be holy, holy, I'm not asking for a God, just as long as you show me. 
clearly I was very proud of myself for doing all of this on my own because usually Chris will do this kind of stuff but the day that I started filming the office makeover was the first day that he got really bad with what we now know is the flu so that's why you're not going to see him that much in this video I think the following day he started to feel a little bit better after he got some sleep and then he went completely back downhill again for I think another like three to four days and he's still not great today he's a little bit better because he is taking a steroid and anti-nausea med Right, we got all of that taken care of and now I know that you all can relate to this this is just the random Easter stuff that the kids have collected not only from us and our family but of course the Easter Bunny um, but it's just been sitting in the office and it needed to go back down some of the stuff like they'll keep like some stuffed animals they'll keep now upstairs with them but the rest of the stuff is going to go in the basement for Easter next year but anyway, I'm getting rid of this bookshelf and my little sister who just got her first house is going to take it. She's also taking one of these chairs. The other chair I put up in my bedroom in that like vanity area across from my closet. And I'm like, why did I not have a chair here before? It just looks so much more like nice and complete. I'll have to show you and probably you'll see it in my next get it all done video. When I tell you that I was determined, I was determined. I've never taped off a room by myself. Chris always does this kind of stuff, but I wanted to prove it to myself that I could do it by myself because that's just how I am. But also I had a goal in mind that day one of the office, everything was going to be painted and I was going to move a lot of stuff out of here. So I had a huge goal and I think I wound up going to bed this night around like 11.30 and I had, you know, I had painted the whole room and taken the tape down and I felt pretty accomplished. I didn't do a perfect job. There's definitely some spots that need like touching up around like the light switches and things like that, but I am very proud of myself for doing it on my own. Trust me when I say this sped up video of taping off the room it makes it seem very easy but it's not. It's very time consuming and I had to replace it lots of different times and it still wasn't perfect so just keep that in mind. This is a time lapse video and it does take a decent amount of time. Okay, most of the kids are sleeping and it's time to get started on painting this office. I absolutely love the color and it, it looks kind of like purple on screen here, but it's definitely like a blue gray and it couldn't be more beautiful. It's exactly what I want it. I wound up only having to do one coat and then just like some random touch-ups where I would see any white and then I did go ahead and just like use the actual brush to do like around the edges but I was proud of myself clearly I have no idea what I'm doing but it all worked out
I forgot to tape off this vent, which was a huge mistake. I should have taped it off, but nothing a little magic eraser couldn't fix. And now for the fun satisfying part is peeling off the tape. I always talk about how Carter wanted to help so he's down here now. He was my little buddy that stayed up late with me. Um, I always talk about how I like to pop pimples and peel skin like a weirdo and this goes right along with it, peeling off this kind of tape. All right, it is the next day and my amazing husband who did way too much when he wasn't feeling great put the bookshelves together for me and he's going to put that on the wall and then we're also going to go ahead and put our oil shelves back up and then just take it from there. Now we're just putting the oil shelves back up and I did hire Carter to come help sort. Ella helped for a little bit to just put like any duplicate oils together so that I could put them next to each other. And I'm telling you, just like everything else in life, today I finished, or not finished, but I'm mostly done filming a get it all done video. And I reorganized the pantry because it just got to be like a hot mess. But basically, if everything is organized, you know what you have, and you just feel more creative. I feel that way about my oils, because now I know all what I have to do different recipes, and the same way about my pantry. This probably took about 45 minutes. Next, it's time to get into these drawers. I did a huge declutter of like the candle making stuff and just had too many like oil roller bottles, so I donated a ton of that. And I basically just freed up a lot more space in our desk. A little organizing break to put together the office chairs. I didn't know what to get because there are so many options, but then I just clicked what would come the fastest and it happened to be these perfect white and gold ones. So I'm very happy with my purchase. Chapel's giving me some loving. Um, and also it helps that the chairs are very comfortable. I am terrified, yes, that my kids are going to like draw on them and ruin them. We need to get a new office lock. So that's definitely like on my list. Okay, back to organizing. I loved how much Carter wanted to help with this project and just made my mama heart happy because one of the biggest things that I feel about like housework and work in general is that I get this guilt that I'm not spending enough time with my kids so when we can do two things together like organizing and spending time with each other, it feels good. Yeah, you know, 
I did do a Target pickup order for some organizational items and I love these boxes because yes they're pink but also it's just a great way to put away any type of documents or papers without them being shown and they look nice. What's it gonna be? Are we gonna do this or not? I really need to know if you're in or out. You don't have to say the words, just look in my eyes. Tell me, friend, oh, can't you see what you mean to me? This new acrylic list that I got from Target is amazing. Probably the last thing I needed, but I think it's great, especially for my brain, to have this right next to where I will be working and it just keeps me on track for the week. I don't wanna tell you, I know if you can. Repeating my mind, rolling around, stuck in your bed. Burning temptation, I just cannot hide. Okay, moving on to the bookshelf. I'm finally putting things back. I am somebody who I think a thousand percent has like some type of ADHD and I didn't have like a perfect method for the way that I was doing the office. I was just like basically doing what's in front of me. So that's why I'm all over the place. I got these plants from Amazon. I'm just thinking of putting them in the office, but first I need to find like some cute little pots for them but I was really happy that I could get live plants from Amazon and they were in great condition. Okay now I'm about to get very emo on you and I'm gonna get through this without crying but I have Romeo, my first dog's ashes, in the office, like behind a frame. And then I never even took out rookies. It was in Chris's closet. Like, I feel like they should be together. And the fact that I'm able to talk about it right now is just because I literally cried so much this day. Um, there was a time when I was so numb that I couldn't cry anymore. So now whenever I feel emotional, I just let myself feel it all the way because it's so much better to have feelings than to be numb. Um, but having this little spot, I also went and got a photo printed of both of them. Just having this spot just made me feel like it was more like respectful sometimes. I don't know how to explain this because I have to, I don't really know the words that I'm trying to convey. I just know how I feel. but it feels more like I'm honoring them and dealing with my feelings instead of just like having their ashes in two random spots around the house and they're together now. It's with their picture. It's just, I don't know, I feel much better about it and up here like the kids can't get to anything and I don't know. It was really hard to go through and like relive it because they, honest to God, felt like my first two children. Um, and yeah, sorry to get like so emotional in the middle, middle of an office makeover, but anyone who loves their pets can understand exactly how I feel. I don't even care to die, I'll see you in a while, cause this time I will choose you, yeah. I'll choose, you know exactly how they look like this, holding in a bag full of goods and these I need a night like this. I was really upset because I didn't think rookies had a name tag and then I was getting ready to throw that blue bag away and his name tag fell out so I just feel better about it that it has his name on it but now we're moving on to just organizing with some of the new items that I got from Target. you 
So I wiped everything down and now we're to the fun part which is like the little tiny details that always make me so happy whenever I'm finishing a room. So 95% of everything you see in this video is from Amazon and then the other 5% is from Target but I will have everything linked down below in the description box. Finally, I am just re-tidying up my drawers. The things that I kept, I did donate a lot of like paper products and things like that. I'm really trying to make this gold Dollar Tree basket work apparently, um, but I am very happy with how everything came out because I know where everything is. I decluttered a ton so it's not overwhelming and it's just so much better than it was, not to mention like I love the new you didn't even see it yet but the new rug and carpets the paint on the walls just everything it just feels really good and i'm excited to come in here and work i put some of my printables down at the bottom below if you um, aren't signed up for my newsletter you can go to tiffanybeeston.com and i have some free printables i haven't sent out a weekly email in a couple of weeks but i'm really hoping to get back to it this sunday I would love to know what all of you do with your children's artwork, just being 110% honest. If it's something that's not that unique, like coloring something in, I get rid of it. Um, if it's something that is unique, like a drawing that I really love that they did, not just like a coloring page or like a painting or something creative, I will go ahead and keep it. Next I'm doing a quick mop so that we can put our new rug down. I feel like the rug just ties it all together because it has like the color of the wall in it along with pink which you know is my favorite color. So I am absolutely obsessed with that. And then the curtains I just went with like a natural color and a gold curtain rod.
I did run down to the basement to get some weights to put on this part that was curling up and it worked great and was fine. I think I left them on for like two or three days honestly just because I didn't really need to take them off and it's perfect at this point. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you on Sunday with a new Get It All Done video. So if